you see how the handle now goes like this before it's like a like a full on rainbow? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have another bag roundup. So now the transition is going to be from spring to summer, but probably in August, I'll do another updated one because summer is really long, you know, especially living in LA. Summer usually extends until maybe about early October. But anyways, if you guys are interested to see the bags that I've used in the last couple months to the bags that I plan on using in the next couple months, then just keep watching. If you guys do follow me on Instagram, then you guys would know that I actually have been traveling quite a bit in the last couple months. Well, I guess just especially the last month. I've been traveling back to back. So my most used bag, without a doubt, I feel like will come to no surprise at all, is going to be my Lueve Flamenco bag with my little fox charm. It is currently stuffed because I did put it away. I don't know if you guys can see all of just kind of like the wrinkles and the divots. It's just I use this so much. This was my go-to bag in Japan and I loved using this. The more that I was using this bag, the more I loved it as a travel, but it also reaffirmed the fact that I definitely need to get this in the larger sizes. I believe it's called like extra large. I think they have two sizes up for this, but the bigger sizes have the thicker strap, which is what I recommend. So the flamenco, if you've never seen it, it is a pouch bag, but it does actually have a thin strap inside as you can see and the thin strap is comfortable if you don't overstuff this but of course when you're traveling you're buying things carrying around a camera phone charger everything like that it does get heavy so if you guys do want to use the flamenco for travel i 10 out of 10 recommend getting the size up just because it's a lot more comfortable if you're planning on stuffing this ironically my favorite way to wear this bag while i was in japan was actually like this so doing it the pouch way when it's like a little dumpling i don't know why it's just so comfortable so right now there's a little bit of tissue in it but normally i do it all the way like this and then i'm just holding it like this i don't know what it is about it i think it's like the thickness of the straps it's just very very comfortable even if i was carrying this and another canvas bag which is 10 out of 10 what i was doing every day it wasn't even almost every day i always was carrying at least two bags with me and i it was fine because that's just what you do if you go to japan everyone's carrying an additional canvas bag even guys which is phenomenal you guys know that i raved about this a lot of you guys have messaged me on instagram and told me that you bit the bullet on getting the flamenco and you love it to death it's because if you've never touched the flamenco in person i you just have to go into the store because the feeling of this leather is just so squidgy and soft it's just so wonderful the color that i do have is in the rosemary color they have this this new color called ghost that i was like oh my god i would love to get that in the bigger size or even this in butter is also really nice as well what makes this bag so great for travel is because you could fit this in your carry-on or just even your regular luggage the reason why i have so many creases and stuff on it like it's not as smooth as when i first bought it is because i kept putting it in my luggage so after i bought all my things it was just so easy to travel with so on a certain day when i wanted to use my gelato peak bag i could just put this in my carry-on obviously this has tissue paper it right now but if there's no tissue it actually gets really flat i do have some wear and tear which is to be expected because i use and abuse this bag i don't know if the see even the lighting you can see like all these creases when i first saw the creases after i took it out of my carry-on bag i got a little nervous i was like oh my gosh i just got this bag and there's already creases i've accepted it and it doesn't bother me as much but it just makes me want to put a pause on using this because you can even see like the creases here but again it's not because i use this that i got creases i got creases because my suitcases were so stuffed and i really had to squish it down but i feel like the aesthetic of this bag just has like these are the natural creases on its own that i've accepted it and i moved on but just letting you guys know if you do squidge it into a suitcase it does fit but if your suitcase is as full as mine was i literally had to sit down and zipper it then it, it can crease it can crease okay that was a very long speech the next bag that i bought to japan also was my prada 2005 mini so basically the difference is it has a safiano strap whereas the mini re-edition 2000 is just the fabric strap so this is kind of my i don't care bag unfortunately it's just i've received so many stains on this you can just see this one right here you guys know that i've talked about this before oh god and then i have one stain in the back that i tried to get rid of but it's still there alive and strong alive and strong so i brought this to japan with me 
because I wanted a bag that was also really easy so at night time because in the daytime you're usually shopping and then at night we just go eat so my camera and everything can just fit in here a lot of like malls and stuff are closed so I don't expect to buy stuff and I don't want to carry a big bag with me everywhere so that was the reason why I brought this do you see how the handle now goes like this whereas before it's like a like a full-on rainbow it's because I stuff this into my carry-on luggage again i mean it's not a big deal because when you wear it who's really looking at it it's just more when it's on its own and it kind of bothers me but you know what this has already been designated my i don't care bag it was so funny the first night when i wore this bag in osaka it was raining and i literally had to put it in my jean jacket it's like this bag is cursed anytime i want to use this bag it just it's like here's an opportunity for it to get stained i you definitely use this bag a lot in japan and I actually have been using this to the market because i've been using Using my black one so much in the months prior i was like i really need to use this bag because the cost per wear between this one and the black one i'm getting way more use out of the black one because i'm so deathly afraid of getting this stained but now i'm already comfortable enough that i can switch it because if you guys ever look at fashion file used or pre-loved Prada mini re-editions they all just look so abused and mine officially looks like that because i stuffed it in my suitcase so the last bag that I've been using the most, and I'm pretty sure you guys can guess it, it is my mini puzzle bag. And you know how you know that I've been using this? I don't know if it would catch on camera. Do you guys see that? Right there. Oh my god, I love it so much. My mini puzzle is finally getting a slouch. When I first bought this bag, it was just like so stiff and structured. And I just love this. Like this. I love it so much. It's so cute. I love it. So it's finally getting the little slouch, which is amazing. I've been using this nonstop every single day. When I first started using this bag, I think I mentioned this on my previous video that i've talked about this that getting in and out of this bag was a little bit difficult i don't know if it's because i've broken it in now or i'm just used to it so it's not difficult for me but at this point in time it is not a hassle for me to get stuff in and out it's like super super easy i really think i just broke it in because now it's just like super flexible and soft and i love it so it is my current purse right now but i'm actually going to transition this i'm gonna let this rest for a little bit and then i'm gonna put all the items in here into my new bag i think i'm even gonna change my wallet too my current wallet is my pocket organizer but i think i'm finally gonna use my purple chanel card holder just because i haven't used it at all i feel like so many people have been talking about this and i have mentioned it in my videos before but if you guys didn't know the original puzzle bag is now being phased out in the edge puzzle is going to be the new regular puzzle if that makes sense essentially it's like the corners right here you see this is like very structured the new edge i'm going to put pictures of it right here it kind of just like one piece of leather and it just kind of like molds together on the corners that you guys can see i do like the aesthetic of the strap on the new puzzle like it kind of has i don't know like an egg shape when you look at it as a whole i've tried on a puzzle once before but definitely i want to go back to see if the leather quality is the same or if they used a different type of leather because they're monochromatic hammocks at least i don't like the feel of that leather it's really not stark it's just very stiff and it's not soft whereas i love the feel of this calf scan you guys know me like the puzzle bags the tricolor any tricolor puzzle bag is my all-time favorite they have this new blue gray and white one. Oh my goodness it's so nice i love that so much i was like this close to buying it in a card holder but i was like maggie you need to relax have any of you guys ran out to lueve or north or whatever they sell Lueve and bought a puzzle bag because you guys found out the news I'm really debating on buying a small one because the small one has the zipper on the back or just getting another mini because I don't know the mini one is so cute but the beauty of the small puzzle is that the slouch is bigger and I just love the slouch so much but I think if I were to get the small size i don't think i would get the tricolor i think if i had got a small size i would get it in just a single color i love this so much i know so many of you guys that have the mini puzzle you guys also really like this i'm gonna not retire it but it's gonna go up on my shelf for at least a couple of okay so now i'm gonna tell you guys the bags that i plan on using actively proactively for the next couple weeks my number one i feel like will be no surprise at all and it's going to be my brand new chanel small 22 bag i've actually been using this for the last maybe four four or five days not a full week but like four or five days off and on so the inside of it i currently have it stuffed it still smells brand new and i've had it aired out for easily like two two to three weeks it's been airing out but 
it smells as if I just bought it from the boutique which is really interesting because I know some people don't like the new bag smell which is very weird I don't like new car smell but I do like new bag smell even though they're both leather very very strange I actually have not used this little pochette once oh my gosh it still even has the plastic I haven't even taken that off I probably should I'll do that later because anything that I have in like a pochette or something like that for example like this I just stuff it in here there's no reason for me to transfer pochettes to pochettes there's just no purpose at all whatsoever i'm not gonna lie to you when i first started using this bag i was getting a little paranoid even when i would put this on my passenger seat i would like lay it down making sure it didn't get dirty if there was receipts because you know like receipt paper that ink can smear and then what if it's smeared on the bottom of my bag because i have so many receipts in my car this is probably the number one bag that i plan on using i just see so many influencers that i follow been using this bag as their daily battle kind of everyday bag so that is the number one bag that I plan on using. The next bag was more of an inspo bag and it is the Celine Mini Vertical Kibosh Tote. So I've been actually neglecting this bag for a little bit. Like I would maybe use it once a month or once every two months, but basically I've been mad neglecting this because you guys know I, the Ava bag is the love of my life. I love that bag so much. I plan on getting another one. But anyways, back to this. I've been neglecting this bag because it's very stiff and that's pretty much it i just feel like not that it's hard to use but when i was in japan when i was in osaka especially i saw two girls in one night okay in one night in a span of maybe an hour i saw two women with this bag and both of theirs were stuffed like it actually had some shape to it like this and then it just never occurred to me to actually like fully fully stuff it and really get my money's worth you know what i mean like i would just kind of slip it let it stay thin like this it full-on inspired me to use this bag the moment that i was crossing the street and then i saw this bag it just really lit a flame inside of me and i was like i need to use this bag so i've actually been using this bag a lot since i came back from japan but i did have to mention it because it just I really really enjoy this bag and I love just this kind of block with the brown it's very loud the more that I look at this the louder it gets just because it's like Celine right there but that's easily one of the reasons why I like it they do have this in a couple different canvases I know they had that seasonal one I think it was like for Chinese Valentine's Day or something like that where it was like red and white which is really cute definitely having this made me want to get this type of shape tote bag in a bigger size you guys know that i'm leaning towards buying a raffia bag especially that lueve one with the black tan raffia and then the tan straps having this definitely inspired me i want to get a bigger one but so this is definitely another one of the bags that i've been using a lot and it's very carefree too because of the canvas i can just like chuck it anywhere if this was stuffed to the brim and i just like everything would come out easily everything would come out whereas if i stuffed my chanel 22 and threw it in the back seat nothing would come out truly nothing would come out so that's just the only downside but who's really throwing their bags around really? okay so we just have two more bags so the next bag is a bag that i haven't used in quite a bit like i'll want to use this and force myself to use this but i just don't use it so i'm actively going to make this one of my summer bags and it's very very small so you'll be very very surprised because i'm in my big bag girl era minus the rest of these bags are really small but it is my Bottega candy cassette so at the time when i bought this it was called the mini cassette but now it is called the candy cassette and it is so expensive now i believe when i got this i think it was like around 800 something but now it's like a hundred, 1,250. But for sure it was less than a thousand. So I have the lambskin one. Of course, the calfskin one has those kind of like edges. So I'm just super inspired to use this, especially because it's summer. So it's like color blocking and it's just really bright. Like I don't see myself wearing this in fall. Obviously you can wear these things year round, but I don't know this, to me this like screams spring and summer to me. I just haven't been using this. So I want to use this because it does fit my car keys and it would totally fit like a card holder and stuff like that so the only thing is that it doesn't fit my phone you know how every single brand is making an east west and it's basically a longer shorter version i want them to make an east west cassette so it's basically this mini or candy cassette but longer so it can fit the phone so maybe just like two more squares on this side then that would be really nice so it's shorter than their kind of bum bag cassette 
but longer than the candy. Just throwing that out there. Some options, some options. And then the last bag that I plan on using is going to be my Nano Speedy, just because I genuinely haven't really used this at all. And the main reason that I want to use this is because I need to fix the coloring. So this bag, if you guys have seen in some of my videos, it's usually on that shelf right there. And there is a window right there. So my bag was faced like this. I don't know why. And both of my handles are two different colors. I don't know if you can see. You can see that this is slightly more patina than this. <sighs> So I'm letting it sit in the sun, literally going like this so it can get at least maybe a layer or two of color so then they're even. And then after that, I'm definitely going to vlog it. I already bought some baby wipes when I went to Target and I'm going to do the whole Monsieur Ashley method where you use the baby wipes on the handles. I just want it to be even. It really bothers me <laughs> that I left it like so the window is facing like this. So all the light is just hitting one side of the handle. and I'm just so stupid, so stupid. So I feel like most people wouldn't notice it if I'm just walking by But if you actually stare at it, it is very obvious that this side was on the window and then this side wasn't on the window So what a tragedy But another reason why I wanted to use this bag is because I just got uh, a little keychain from the Haneda airport And I decided I'm gonna put it on this bag I haven't decided if I'm gonna put it on like the handle bit or the side bit But I just want to use the keychain so because the keychain I feel like is too big to put on my keys so it's gonna be kind of like a little bag accessory but yes I remember at one time this was my go-to bag I mean I have so many I cycled through so many phases I really just want to get this darker the patina I wanted to patina more alrighty guys we have come to the end of today's little bag roundup were you guys surprised not surprised at all I feel like this and this came at no surprise to any of you guys this one absolutely no surprise that it's my most used and this being my bag of the summer so i was finally able to check box getting a white bag so that was really awesome and then also let me know down in the comments if you guys would be interested in seeing a comparison video between this bag and the 22 i feel like they're similar enough that people could be debating between them and i have mentioned before i feel like the flamenco is kind of the in it more inexpensive version of the chanel 22 have any of you guys had the problem as me where one side of your bag is darker than the other oh no just me okay got it got it got it but as always i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys did enjoy it please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys